Okay, my darlings, I am back. Hello, it's Dion Dean. Okay, so we did the first video. And if you're seeing this video before the first video, welcome to my video. This is for the Salvation Army by the Pound sale. This is a thrift haul video. And um, a few months back, I went to the Salvation Army thrift. Salvation Army, let me slow down. Salvation Army by the Pound event Wednesday mornings at the West Humboldt, West Humboldt Park location, 452 West Grand. Um, Wednesday mornings, they open up the warehouse and everything is 87 cents a pound. So part one of this video was handbags. Now we're going to go into shoes because I just didn't want to make like a 40 minute video. Um, as I mentioned in the first video, I spent $40 on both the handbags and the shoes. And if you're wondering, you know, why I didn't get any clothing, they didn't necessarily, I think they maybe have like one and a half bins of clothing. They have um, shoe bins, they have handbags and like small accessories bins. They do have toys. They have a lot of toys. And I did see a book bin. And so always wanting to, you know, I love my other thrift stores, Family Thrift and Thrift Giant in Dallas. Um, but definitely, you know, you always want to support your Goodwills and your Salvation Armies. And this is a great way to do that. So let's go into shoes. Enough talking. So some of them, because they're like all over the place, I'm really going to have to go to Ikea this weekend and um, figure out my situation because this looks like a mess right now. I'm not going to show you, but just know it looks like a mess. So I'm just going to show you one shoe and then some of them will be two shoes. So this is a Dolce Vita um, velvet pump and it looks kind of off with the lighting, but it's not gray. Like it really is a really true black um, and it does have some slight rubbing. You can see like, uh, like right there and a few little nicks on the heel, but it's in otherwise really good condition. And so this is actually a pump that um, I used to have myself, really popular silhouette with Dolce Vita. And so um, it's just a really good black shoe. And they, they do shoes really, really well. I actually really do like the brand. So this is one shoe that I purchased. And then men's. So there are, I want to say, seven or eight bins of shoes like packed high and you really have to go through each bin and like dig and so and I just got myself in one little corner and just concentrated on this one bin and so I found these Gucci sneakers these are men's and so it you know it is worn does have some damage but yeah it's a Gucci sneaker you can see can you see that right there little Gucci logo and then this is the they okay so they do counterfeit Gucci but this is one way to tell um, if the shoe is authentic or not the sizing and everything right there so it's a well-worn sneaker but I figured you know there's some man out there to wear the size 10 that wants these so I got them for him honey <laughs> all right so these are some round toe Guess Pumps, Guess by Marciano Pumps. I really just need to show you one. You don't need to see both. Um, but this is a really great work shoe. Like I said, anything, well, if you know me, you know that I don't carry anything in the store that I would not sell myself. I really see both eBay and Poshmark as like my own boutiques. So that's that. I saw these Kohan, now these are brand new, Kohan sandals. I was wishing that they were my size. But these, I'm just going to show you one, guys. I'll show you both. So, some Cole Haan wedges, brand new, and we know that Cole Haan is very pricey, honey. So there we go, some Cole Haan wedges, and it's brand new. Look at the sole. Probably worn like once or twice, but it has all the tags and everything. So, or the um, little pull tags is what I'm talking about. Um, Bowden. So Bowden is a brand that I've been kind of loving lately. Um, it's so I got these for myself. And so, you know, I'm trying to be redeemed from the heel. You guys saw my meltdown on Facebook Live. Um, and maybe I need to have a rant, like a YouTube rant, because I'm still trying to figure out who Dion Dean is as a mom, because I'm used to my four or five inch heels. Well, walking around the city in my four or five inch heels, pulling, pushing or pulling a stroller. Uh, and now she's a toddler. So I'm really like running around behind her. It's just not happening. And so I don't know where I would wear these shoes other than like church or if I have a client meeting. 
I don't know. And I have enough heels in my closet for church. I don't need another shoe. But yeah, so needless to say, this is Bowden. And I've been finding a lot of their clothing. And so when I saw the shoes and handbags as well, and so I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. Um, let's talk about this Kate Spade. You know, this one I need to wipe down because this looks this looks kind of icky. But these are Kate Spade espadrille type shoes. And you can see it looks kind of icky in the toe. And so I'm going to have to give it a good wipe down before I put it on eBay. But it's really still in really good condition. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a good wipe down. But as you can see, I spent $40, once again, between the handbags and, like, total. Those Kate Spade shoes are well above $40. So um, here are some Ferragamos. Yes, honey. Ferragamos, darling. Yes. <laughs> oh, this lipstick. Just in case, I'm looking at my lips and I'm like, mm. This is a Milani um, matte lip shade. So let me say that for those of you who are always commenting on my lip gloss, not lip gloss, not always commenting. Let me not say it like that. For those of you who admire the lipsticks that I wear, I'm a huge like matte lip girl, but this is a Milani lip matte, just in case you want to know. Um, sold at Walgreens. Okay, so <laughs> here's a Ferragamo sandal, which I really like. I feel like, although we don't wear logos, this logo is so understated that it's still wearable. Um, and once again, how do we tell a good shoe? We look at the stamp. So this is engraved. This is stamped into the shoe. So here's some Ferragamos. And then the Cynthia Vincent. I actually, these are six and a half. I wish these are, see, this is a Florida shoe. This is the shoe that I would put on my foot and be all up and down Lincoln Boulevard, Lincoln Road, Lincoln Boulevard, all down Lincoln Road, just being cute in Miami. I love this shoe. This is Cynthia Vincent shoe. And I love this right here. And then this thing kicking off at the back. Oh, this is South Beach all day, baby. Yes. Just being fabulous, having lunch and doing doing fabulous things. And then these are some Vanellis. I kept these, I kept these like this because I wanted you, you to see. When you shop at the bins, they um they rubber band everything the worst thing to happen to you is for you to find a fabulous shoe and you can't find the mate and so they actually do come with a rubber band on them but just through the nature of people looking like they come apart and so to find anything rubber banded is like joy but yes so let me take it out of the rubber band so these are vanelli beautiful 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 there's some wear on there, but not too much. Not too much. And so there's that. Then I got these brand new. See, these are brand new. Where's the mate? Well, yeah, I don't know where it went. But these are some brand new born shoes. Now, you say, Dion, that is not you. No, it's not. Um, so if it's not you, why are you putting it in your store? Because it's brand new. And you guys know my history. I used to be an assistant buyer for women's shoes. Assistant buyer. Did that for about two years and one thing I know comfort always sells and it always sell high because if you're somebody who has a foot problem you will pay for comfort and so when I saw that these were brand new and it does have I don't know what this is on the inside can you see that let me see let me do it this way can you see that that's some oil or something like that um but these are brand new and so if you wear born and you're a born lover and you're and born is comfortable to you, you're going to pay the money. And so when I saw that they were brand new, I was like, you know, the hustler came out of me. The Scarface came out of me. And I'm like, I'm getting that. So that's why I got that shit. These Jeffrey Campbells. I've always wanted to wear these. I don't even know if these will sell. I didn't check eBay. I didn't check the comps or anything like that. But I've always loved this shoe. I've seen it. I've been seeing it for like probably the last five, six years. And I always, like, I want to be that girl, like, in Midtown Manhattan who can wear these and just be, like, I want to be the girl that can wear these. But I just know I will topple over. <laughs> but I want to be like that really fly chick who is, like, wearing these you know, in the fall, just being fabulous. And so that's why I got these. These are Jeffrey Campbell. And I've just, I've 
seen this like multitude of times. And so I don't even know if these will sell, but I love them. So they're going up in the store. Somebody will love them. Let me put that back in the rubber band. And so last but not least, I know if you follow me on Instagram and I am Dion Dean, you've already seen the post. You saw the Instagram stories where I found these. The biggest thing for me that I had on my list to look for um, at the sale was boots. As a reseller, you want to stay current, right? And so I was like, in my store, I need to have more boots. And so I focused on boots and I found some like wowers. And you guys have already seen this. So if you haven't, be, be prepared to be wowed. So let me go back a little bit. So these are some Liliana boots. And these are, I'm going to say over the knee. Because these are, let me see. Oh, yeah, these are over the knee. So, focus. So, these are some Liliana pointed toe. Let me put this down. Pointed toe, over the knee boots. And look at that hang tag. It's all about the details. When you're talking about shoes and boots, it's all about the details. So, look at that thing. Yes, as you're walking, just jiggy, 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 jiggy. And these are brand new, guys. These have never been worn. And I tell you, oh, focus. I pulled them out of a bin, and I probably had like four or five people like, where did you find that? You got that here? I was like, they were sitting at the bottom of a bin, and I dug them up. So, yeah, so here is just... These, you know, how I talked about the, the bag. Well, if you go to my other video, the bags that made the the trip everything. These made the trip everything. These three pairs of boots made the trip well worth it. Like if I only found these, I'd be fine. These Dolce Vita boots. Look at that. This feels so good. Oh my gosh, Dolce Vita just does it right, honey. But this feels so. Oh, the leather. Mm, 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 mm. that just feels really really good um so yeah so got these digging in a bin and like i said the smartest thing to do is to there are a lot of people okay so how can i put this there are a lot of people at the at the sale right and everybody's digging and when new stuff when the bring the new bins out everybody just kind of pounces on the bin the smartest way to attack these bins is to find a corner find a bin that everybody's kind of passed on and just go through that bin because if, if when everybody's descending upon the bins and everybody's digging through like so much stuff gets missed you just find a corner find your little bin and just go through and that's really how i found all this stuff i just Everybody was over there doing their thing. I just got into my corner and just went through. So note to self, if you go to a Goodwill, Goodwill outlet or if you go to Salvation by the Pound, just find your corner. Honey. Don't chase the people. All right. That's just a little bit, little nugget of wisdom for you. So these are the last pair of boots. And I was so hoping when I pulled these out that these would fit me. But they're small. They're like a six or a seven or something. Yeah. So look at these. Oh. <laughs> such a fly boot this is who Dion Dean is look at this look at this boot Jesus this is Nine West I didn't even know Nine West could get this fly I'm gonna be real with you I was like Nine West I just knew this was like I don't know who, I thought this was like you know who I thought this was I thought this was Sam Edelman I really did because this is this is like the kind of thing that they would do this is a Nine West boot can I tell you, I went looking for this style to see if they had it in my size because it's it's lace, so it could kind of fit my chunky calf, probably. <laughs> um, and it's got the zip. It's just such a good shoe. Look at that. Oh, look at that shoe, Lord. You see how excited I get about a shoe? Lord. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that beautiful so that's it that's the end of the shoe portion of my haul so handbags and shoes I paid $40 for all of it and it was well worth it it goes to a good cause it goes to Salvation Army so I can't be mad at that and yeah so $40 that's what I found yep $40
<laughs> anyway, love you. We never pay retail. Please follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean because you'll get to see me shopping for this stuff as I'm shopping. There's a lot of times I find stuff and I'm like, should I get it? Should I not? And you guys are my voice. I really listen to what you guys are saying as it relates to, you know, if I should buy something at the thrift store or if I should just leave it alone. Is it a pass or a fail? So follow me at I am Dion Dean. You can take a look at my Instagram stories and find me doing all types of things. Um, I'll leave a link to my eBay store as well as Poshmark and Levy. We never pay retail. Please, if you go to the Buy the Pound stores, if you're at the Goodwill outlets or if you're shopping um, at the at any thrift store and you see something, please tag me on it. I love looking at your finds. I get so, so excited when you guys find designer items. Um, and shout me out if you have found something, um, if you've gone to a sale and you know, you found some amazing deals, or if you have found something and flipped it and made some money off of it, let me know. I just, I pray that this, this um, channel is a blessing to you. You know that my heart is to help women. Um, one of the things that I love to do is to help women um, develop a side hustle because you know I'm Jamaican and you know, we got like seven, eight, nine jobs. We believe in, we, we get nervous at one job. I'm just going to be real. You know, I don't want to be stereotypical. But my father, I mean, let's talk. Growing up, my father was very adamant about making sure that I could take care of myself in this world. His exact words were, I don't want nobody to my name to live. Okay? And so <laughs> that's really what he said. I don't want and I don't want you to be in a situation where you just don't know how to take care of yourself. So he put me in cosmetology school. He sent me to college. Now that I'm doing eBay and I have my own business, like he was always about, you know, making sure you have multiple sources of income. So I say that to say, if you've, if you've been blessed by this channel and you're reselling and making money, please let me know. It blesses my heart to know that, that I am helping you achieve your dreams of like financial stability or success or getting out of debt or however you're using your reselling funds. I get so excited. So I say that to say, tag me, tag me, tag me. I love hearing those stories. All right. I love you. We never pay retail. Be blessed. Go shop at the bins, do some digging and show me what you found. All right. <laughs> Bye.